Hi, this is Sudhir. This is CLR Components Tutorial. Here is the list of CLR components. They are JIT Compiler, Memory Manager, Garbage Collector, Security Manager, Exception Manager, CTS and CLS. JIT Compiler is a component which is present in CLR which is used for converting MSIL code to native code which means the second time compilation process will be taken care by JIT Compiler which is converting the MSIL code to the native code which is target operating system code which helps in achieving platform independence feature. Next is memory, memory Manager which is responsible for allocating necessary memory for the objects and variables. When you are writing a program and which needs memory in the runtime, automatically they are taken care by the memory manager. We have garbage collector in .NET which is responsible for automatically destroying unused memory of the objects. The ideal objects will be identified and they will be destroyed automatically by the garbage collector. This feature is available in .NET and Java but this is not available in C and C++. As .NET and Java are automatically managed they are known as managed code because we have garbage collector in them and C, C++ are known as unmanaged code because memory deallocations has to be done manually by the developer. Security manager it is used for validating the user while user while using assemblies that means while you are do, using the assemblies in the runtime the security permissions everything has to be validated and that is taken by, by the security manager which is a component present in CLR. In the runtime, the runtime errors has to be handled and they has to be re redirected to the catch blocks which is written in the program. To make this possible, exception manager is a component which is going to take care about this runtime error handling. And CTS and CLS. CTS is common type system which is capable of applying some rules and regulations regarding data types and CLS is the language specifications that means it is going to take care about the rules and regulations of the syntaxes. Here we have written like CTS and CLS are part of .NET compiler and are responsible for type safety within the code. Both allows cross language communication and type safety that means in .NET we have a feature called .NET interoperability that means if you write a code in one language which can be used in other language as well because MSIL code is the mediator code. MSIL code has to be created with some rules and regulations so that it can be used in other language as well. So there CTS and CLS comes into picture. So let's go in detail about CTS. CTS stands for common type system. It defines the rules which common language runtime follows when, declar when declaring using and managing types. That means when MSL code is created, it has it should have a common types so that it can be used in other languages as well. So at that time, CTS is the thing which is going to have some rules and regulations and it is helping in declaring using and managing data types. Next is CLS which stands for common language specifications and is a subset of CTS. It defines a set of rules and res restrictions that every language must follow when do when which runs under .NET framework. All the .NET languages, when it is created, it, it should follow this CLS. The languages which follow this set of rules are said to be C CLS compliant. That means after the first time ex execution, the MSL code is created and it should follow all these com compliance. In simple words, CLS enables cross-language cross integration or language interoperability. To achieve language interoperability, MSIL codes of all the languages should have a specific format so that it can be understandable by in, in the other language as well. So they has to follow some rules and regulations that is known as CLS. It's a common language specifications. So these are the components which are present in CLR.